Greetings from Canada Land. My name is Matt, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys uh, the winner for, quote, the pit challenge, or uh, No Man's Land, Area 51, whatever you guys want to call it. But basically, this guy gets 295 kills. This is the relaxing end. He is number one in the world right now. You can check it on the leaderboards for this challenge. And uh, he was kind enough to leave uh, leave his video as a video response for my uh, for my challenge, which was pretty awesome, you know. I honestly say that he's one of the best zombie players in the world, I have to say that. And it's uh, really cool to get someone like that who is going to uh, notice my video and upload like his uh, gameplay to it. Not upload, but like post it as a video response, you know. But basically what this guy's doing is he's just going to freaking beast it here. Like look, he just jumps and completely dodges the zombie. Now right here, he throws the grenade because the thing was you want to do on this level is you want to kill as many zombies as quickly as you can because it gives you the most points once you kill them, you know. And he's knifing these guys so he can kill them. He's knifing the dogs because when it's still a one, uh, one knife hit. He's getting as much points as you possibly can. He's even shooting the zombies while they're on the ground. He already has 4,200 points, and it's really early in like the game, you know? So that's the thing. You always want to use your grenades at the beginning when the zombies are really weak and you can kill them quickly. That's why this guy was so smart. I'm honestly, I'm convinced that when this guy was practicing, he had it almost down to uh, seconds for when he's going to uh, like throw his grenades and shoot them and everything because you gotta time it in conjunction for when the alarm goes off and it makes them stronger you know and right here he has to dodge this zombie go around and just have enough time to pick up his Mustang and Sally now right here this is the really dangerous part because you want to stay away from dogs as much as possible because they get up all in your face and then if you shoot a grenade uh, from one of the Mustang and Sally's and it kills you and it like hurts you like that and then one of the say one of the dogs survives and he just busts through and hits you you're down and it's so hard but the thing is this guy he does it really early in the round because he already got them this quickly I think it's like he got them like almost a minute in which is absolutely insane now right here he's just working towards uh, jug juggernaut you know he's got uh, almost 200 uh, 2500 because it's really early in the round he's still killing these zombies very quickly with the Mustang and Sally later on it's gonna take about four shot four or five shots to kill a zombie but right now when it's gonna be uh, taking not a lot of shots to kill him he's taking very uh, very like he's taking advantage of that you know it's a good idea now right here he's gonna start using his little hoarding strategy up here on the on the pad it's called kite it's called this is the figure eight what he's doing and he's trying to kill as many zombies as soon as possible just because while they're weak you know because the stronger they get they get the more shots they're gonna take and uh, the more bullets you're gonna use and you wanna use as less bullets as possible now right here I bet he's probably getting frustrated because look how slowly they're spawning in you know bet he probably would have got a few more kills because they would have been weaker after he got them up on the pad you know but right here he just wants to get them all in a group as much as he can and he's gonna take them out with bullet with uh, with shots from his um, his Mustang and Sally there's it's that's the thing you have to be as quick as possible because the thing is it's not hard to just go grab juggernaut first and then just keep knifing them like 300 times until you get uh, get enough to buy the Mustang and Sally but by that time it's too late by that time the zombies are so strong it takes a full clip from both guns to kill one you understand so he actually got into a lot of trouble there by that zombie uh, I think he might have been stuck on a crawler or just he didn't exactly know what he was doing because that was kind of weird how he was just running into the zombies like that. But uh, <clears throat> he really he really does know what he's doing here. Like he, he's cutting in, he sees the openings, he does all that. He's going to where the crawlers are, so uh, where they're weak and where he's going to be able to kill them. He's still only killing them with two shots, which is really good. Like when I, was, uh, when I finally got the Mustang and Sally on my run, I was still killing them with four shots, which was bad it was really bad that's why I'm actually not uploading my perspective because you guys this is way more impressive than anything you're gonna see from me you know this guy shattered any other scores I've ever seen on YouTube guaranteed you're never gonna see anybody do this for a while and if you do it's probably gonna be on the leaderboards and not so much um, his uh, like um, <clears throat> just on YouTube you know so right here he's gonna go back to doing the the figure eight strategy getting all the zombies up here uh, he's activating a teleporter. That's the one danger in this spot is because if you activate the teleporter and then you accidentally go in, you can get yourself down. And right there, that was really bad when he ha when he's all in the red like that. I think one hit and two bullets puts you in the red when you have the Mustang and Sally. So as you can see there, he just uses one shot so he can take out as many, uh, many zombies as possible with the least bullets. He's trying to knife that crawler, but I guess that didn't exactly work. 
But this figure eight strategy on this uh, on the pad it works really well because you you don't go back there where the um, the tubes are and uh, the cr I don't know exactly what to call them the containers the j um, the derricks I don't know but uh, it, you don't go back there and those you get you get caught up on those a lot and you know so he's getting a ton of kills like this like look at this he's he's destroying these zombies and he still has uh, do math do math do math 34 shots left in his guns I mean that's insane you know. Like, could you imagine if just like like he, he finished now went to uh, went to moon and just busted a sprint all the way to like the, I don't know where would you go you already have everything you have upgraded Mustang and Sally you have Juggernaut you're like pretty much guaranteed to win the game I don't know like grab a ra grab an AK-74 maybe hack it go back down and you're you still have money to upgrade you know like you you can open up all the doors and just it's crazy this kid's insane. I don't know if he's a kid or not. I haven't actually like. He might be like some uh, some older guy who actually like understands how this stuff works. You know, like like this guy. He knows what he's doing. You know, look at him. He he knows where uh, he knows where the zombies are coming from. He knows what their path is. He really that was a dangerous move there. He almost got he almost got caught up. You you saw that. But uh, in the end, he pulled it off. He squeezed through. That was good. That was good. He's up to 218 kills. There's still a lot of zombie kid killing to do, you know? Like, um, he's got he's got lots of bullets left. This guy's crazy. Very efficient with his bullets. He's waiting till all 24 zombies and or dogs goes in the middle until he starts firing shots, you know? This guy's smart. He's smart. And the thing is, this figure eight strategy limits the amount you get stuck with the zombies and everything because the heart, the the, um, the place you get caught up in the most is the is the zombies that are running up the stairs. You know, that was my problem. I got stuck there and I died before I finished all my ammo out of my uh, Mustang and Sally on my run. You know, I only got 121 kills. That's bullshit. This guy's freaking insane at this. You know, he knows what he's doing. So, you know, this guy, like, what, what else is there to say? He's doing laps on the pad. He knows what he's doing. Um, you guys know what he's doing. <laughs> Duh, I guess there's not much else to commentate, I guess, you know, just this guy, he, he's very under, he's a very underrated zombies player. Like, I was checking the leaderboards, and he's pretty high up there on pretty much every map. But uh, the, the thing about this guy is, like, uh, I think I've seen some of his other videos where he doesn't just do solo, you know? But also, this is probably the most impressive thing on Nazi Zombies that you can do solo. And you don't see Syndicate doing it. He's not getting anywhere near this amount of kills on uh, on this uh, on this challenge, you know? And, uh, like, after this round, I think he was number one in the world, guaranteed. Like, this, like he can have the title, number one Zombies player global, <laughs> in the top of his, uh, his, um, his YouTube channel, you know? But I'm just watching this right now, and I'm like, man, he this he's got this down, you know? It's very efficient. You get the zombies up quickly, you know? You're not wasting time, which is good, because the more time you waste, the stronger they get, the more bullets it takes, the less bullets you have to kill them with. So that's why he's doing it very quickly. He's got like eight minutes in. They're probably really strong at this point. You can see uh, that was six shots he took, but he still killed 24 zombies, which is crazy, you know? So... If there was something else on this map, like if they gave you like a little gun off the wall, a lot more people would be getting the high rounds just because it'd be pretty much infinite ammo, you know? But here, you gotta make do with what you have, you know? That's like the, the you don't have grenades anymore. You, if you're out of ammo, you're out of ammo. Simple as that, you know? It's not just gonna be a thing where you can go forever. You can knife them. I mean, I don't recommend it. That's kind of a bad idea. I don't know exactly know why he's paused right now. Maybe he had to go away, answer the phone, you know, sell some drugs. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, if there was anything else on this map where they added so that you can get, like, infinite ammo of sorts, I say this would take zero skill because it's just time. That's why I hate, like, high, people who go to high rounds and stuff. It's all it's all about time, you know? If you have the time, you can do whatever you want on zombies. This, it, it doesn't take time. It takes fucking mad skill, you know? Some people would argue that um, uh, you can pretty much just last for, like, hours just knifing the zombies. But the thing is, they get stronger and stronger and stronger. And I think at one point, it doesn't even matter the amount that you knife them because they're just gonna get stronger to the point where it just goes way past the amount of times you knife them you know so he's got uh, he's got 295 kills look at that crawler 
Look at that crawl, he doesn't even die! <laughs> he took like five, six shots to the face and he didn't even die, look at this! 937, uh, no, 9 minutes, 37 seconds, 22,000, uh, yeah, 22,000 points, 295 kills. This guy is a beast. His original footage is in the channel description, uh, is in the video description. Look at that. Number one in the world. You're an animal. Thanks for posting, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for posting a video response. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks a lot, and, uh, peace out.